the Ampeg Flip-Top, also called the Ampeg B15. It's one of the coolest bass amps ever to be created. Even if you haven't heard of it, you've definitely heard it because it's probably the most recorded bass amplifier in history. It's the sound of the 1960s and 1970s, and it continues to be used today. In fact, if you go into a recording studio, if it's worth its salt, probably in the back, there's one of these bad boys sitting around. It's something that you should know about, and if you're lucky, it's something that you should try to get your hands on because it's one of the coolest bass sounds in history. <laughs> Why is it called a flip top? Well, it's a box and the top of the box you can flip and on the inside is the amplifier. So it's like built-in storage. It's super convenient and it's a super innovative design. This amplifier is not the loudest bass amp that exists, but that's okay. That's not what makes it special. What makes it special is the quality of the sound that it creates, which is part of why it's so loved in recording studios because in a recording studio, you can isolate things and mic them up. And even if it's not as loud as the drums or the electric guitar, it's okay because you can bring it up in the mix and it sounds awesome once you bring that fader up. So I wouldn't get this amp if you're wanting to play super, super loud, but I would get this amp if you're wanting to sound super, super good. <laughs> Rather than talking about it, I'm gonna show you what this amplifier does. So I'm gonna take my P bass, I'm gonna play through a direct box into the amplifier. So we'll be able to listen to just the direct signal and we'll also be able to listen to the saturated sound of the amplifier. I'm gonna use a radial direct box and I'm gonna use an SM7 for the cabinet and we'll see what the amplifier is actually doing. <laughs> Sometimes it can be helpful to use both. You can take the clean direct box sound and you can use the saturated amplifier sound and layer them together. You can use the clean sound for some of the low, fundamental, pure bass sound, and you can use the amplifier for some of the texture and saturation and blend them together so you have this nice, full, rich, textured, saturated sound. Or you can use them in different ways, however you want, however the engineer wants. But that's something that's helpful as a bass player to bring to the table is to bring a really good direct box sound and to bring a really good amplified sound. This bass amp is only 25 to 30 watts of tube power, depending on the version and the year, which brings up an interesting point. This bass amp has been reincarnated a number of times through the years. It was first introduced in 1960, and there's a bunch of different variations. So this specific one is a 1969 B15N, which is a little bit taller. It's got the blue box, and my understanding is this pushes 30 watts instead of 25. Love this thing. I love the way it breaks up, and I love the way it sounds in the mix. <laughs> Select an amp that has a beautiful color or character of its own that inspires you. It's a part of your sound, right? So instead of just being a thing that makes you loud, it's a thing that makes you sound like you. It's a thing that's adding its own color and character to your sound, right? And I think a flip top is a perfect example of that sort of amplifier. So the flip top, super cool bass amp, most recorded bass amp in history. Not super loud, but packs a punch, lovely saturation, an important part of music history, a cool amp that you need to know about. If you get a chance, you should try to get your hands on one because I promise you, you won't regret it. I'm not in any way sponsored, by the way, by Ampeg or anyone else at the moment. I'm just making videos about things that I think are cool. So if you want to support the channel, check out my base course. There's a link to that in the description. And let me know what you think. What are some of your favorite amps? What other amps should we talk about? 
Do you like the flip top? What's your favorite version of the flip top? Okay, I have a bonus tip for you. This is courtesy of my brilliant friend, Robbie. You can basically use the preamp of the flip top like a pedal that sends a really hot signal. You can send that into a very durable direct box. Uh, so I like to use the radial JDI, which has a Jensen transformer in it. It sounds really good when you hit it hard, right? So we're taking a powerful saturated signal from the flip top and slamming the radial and getting multiple layers of saturation. And it sounds really cool. <laughs> <laughs>